This is a letter from Jocelyn to St. Paul's. Grace and peace, my brothers and sisters, my sisters and brothers, and everyone in between. I come bearing good news, filled with joy, possibility, excitement, and curiosity. Some of you have asked how God is active in my life, in our life together. Some of you have asked what I can imagine are possibilities in this community 20 years from now. Although I would love a clear future, everyone, I can only speak to my present and my past and how, when aligned to God's glory, I can possibly see a direction. So 20 years ago, I was in my first time ministry role at Marquette University, and I had saved up pennies to participate in the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius, my favorite saint. This 30-day experience cost a lot of money because usually they sent religious people who their communities would just pay for. But it was like thousands of dollars to cover my room, my board, my meals, my spiritual direction, like all of it. And I did it. Fifteen years ago, I was living into these expressions of um, my new priesthood, if if you could even call it that. Because I had a call, this is what I, I guess I forgot to tell you, before 20 years ago, I had received a call. Most of the time I would just hang up the phone. But this call, and I wanted to discern it so that the spiritual exercises gave me a, a container to be able to do that. And I was in a Roman Catholic church, and a, a woman, I identified as a woman, so part of it is like, I don't really know how this is going to go, God, but I mean, I'll do the work. But I don't know how this is going to go. And so again, 15 years later, I found myself living in those expressions of ministry. Like, well, this could be enough. I may not be a priest, but I'm trained in all the things that a priest can do. I got my degrees. I've done the formation. I'm like in these circles. I have roles in these places, in these schools and churches that would be similar to a priest. And I think, I guess, I was open to sharing that news with people. Like, you can do this without being a priest. Sorry, ladies in the Roman Catholic Church, if you have a calling, but we'll find another way, was kind of my stance 15 years ago. So 10 years ago, I was encountering that limitation, right? So 2013, I was in a place where my relationship with my, with my now wife, you know, was kind of opening up doors for me, and that was scary. And the limitation of my priesthood in the Catholic Church or my employment in the Catholic Church was really scary. And I didn't know how God was going to open up opportunities for me and for us. And still I felt God's desire for me. But I'm like, I don't know, God, you got to put that down. Like, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And then five years ago, I find myself, you know, June of, gosh, June 6th, no, 5th, June, June 5th, right here with my pregnant wife getting a blessing from you all. No, June, sorry, June 11th, June 11th, right? So we got a blessing from you all. We went to the hospital, and she gave birth the next day, June 12th to our first of three. So I couldn't tell you like five years ago what my life would be looking like. And it brings me to this moment in this present. And I continue to ask God, like, what are you birthing in me? What is being developed so that it can be born years from now? What is being developed right now at St. Paul's that can be born years from now? So I don't know what the future is, friends. And I know that we are here together and that we are here with our own experiences. Five years from now, I wonder if, like me, what kind of church are we going to be here? We're going to be, not that we count our pennies, but like counting our pennies, counting our things. Like we used to do these things. We used to do these things. I wonder what kind of church are we going to be? Are we still going to be in that moment? Are we going to be in that moment when we're, we're just church? 
And we live into this reality of, of being a people together that then shares this good news with each other. And by sharing that good news, it opens up possibilities of what our church can look like, our communities at 8 and 10 and can look like, what foot hall can look like during the week or during the weekends outside of just some of our special times. Shoot, I don't know how many rummages we can do in a year. Y'all are like, no, Jocelyn, just two. But who knows after we share the news of this rummage and for the years to come. Like, I wonder about my own vocation. And I, I guess this is my first time telling you this, although there's not much to tell, except that you've been a part of this, right? So many years ago, I wasn't here. Like 13 years ago, I was sitting in the corner, which I love and I'm very comfortable in. And 13 years later, I stand in front of you wondering, I wonder what this vocation to priesthood look like for me. Maybe I get people around me. Say what they can pull around like thinking right about what I call to the priest look like is kinner. Not in the chapter, but in the kinner. So I don't know what possibilities are in store for you. You all have been through more of these 20 year cycles than I have. And we may be in, a, in another one. Where do you have to be the thing you share so that shirt can go arm fade or who knows what God is calling you to become or to live into? But we are invited each and every time to be with each other and to deepen that question and to deepen the possibility of being curious about what God has in store for us today. So continued blessings, my sisters and brothers, this day and always and again. Be open to God's blessing in this new life of yours and this new life with one another. Here was